Hello, and welcome to today's talk on hydrology, the unseen water of subsurface flow. Subsurface flow in hydrology is all of the water that the ground is able to absorb from precipitation and then moves either through gravity or evaporation. We're going to talk about saturated subsurface flow, losing stream flow, and piping flow today, and how each of these components are affected by the environment that they exist in. The first mechanism we're going to talk about is saturated subsurface flow. Saturated subsurface flow is usually found in hill slope back slopes in relatively flat places. The ground becomes saturated and the water seeps to the surface but continues to flow downstream. The next mechanism we're going to talk about is piping flow. Much like the naming implies, water begins to move very quickly through the subsurface as water through pipes and then emerges at some sort of break in the soil surface. Most of the time this break is either through a mechanical or a natural erosion cut into the topography of the land. Sometimes the holes are very small and other times they are very large. Streams are usually gaining or losing and sometimes losing streams are completely disconnected from the water table. These streams are usually classified as ephemeral and are dry most times of the year. Happy Hollow Park is one of those streams as seen on the left. Only during periods of intense rainfall and direct runoff does this creek bed fill up as seen on the right. Once the flow downstream slows down enough, gravity will pull the water into the water table that's several feet beneath the surface. These streams are prone to extreme flash flooding and are very dangerous. I hope you enjoyed today's video about subsurface water.